In GrandMA 3 version 1.7, we already introduced the DMX tester, but this feature was only controllable via command line so far. So now with version 1.8, we introduce the tester encoder bar. So that means you can control your DMX tester via your dual encoders. When you have opened the DMX sheet, you can see a new button here, which says tester encoder bar. Let's enable this and you will see that your encoder bar changes. So you will have the universe, the address or the tester output directly on your dual encoders. So as soon as we select some DMX addresses here, maybe directly in the DMX sheet, we can select our tester output here. So we can control this via our encoder, but we can also go into the calculator and say 20, for example. And you can see with the white indication that our output that our test output is sent to the respective DMX addresses here. The blue frame in the DMX sheet will show us that these DMX addresses are currently selected. So that means we could select some more DMX addresses maybe, and you can see that these get now the tester output, which is set in our dual encoder. You will have some more additional buttons here, which says release selected or release unselected, release all maybe, to release all of these tester values from the DMX addresses. So you can see they are still selected, but we release the tester output here. As soon as we select some new addresses now, they will get the tester output of 20 and we could release them as well. Additionally, we have two buttons which take care of the park functionality. So you know the park functionality where we can park some values for DMX channels that can never be touched. So as soon as we clear our programmer, these values will be parked and will not be cleared from the programmer. So let's see how this works. We have some addresses selected. Our tester output is still 20. You can see it and we can say park the selected DMX addresses. So as soon as we say release all now, the selected DMX addresses will be parked with the tester output of 20. So even clearing the programmer or releasing the DMX values from the tester won't affect these DMX channels anymore because we parked them. Of course, we can unpark those values as well. We select the addresses, we say unpark selected, afterwards we say release all and everything's back to the default values. So of course the park functionality can help you as soon as you want to make sure that these values for specific DMX addresses will not change.